Yes, of course, it is time now to find out the tricks of the trade, and we're going to make the perfect takeaway in your own home. This week, we are making a DIY snack box with our chef, Paul Trevo. Hi, Hi, Maura. Snack box. Snack box. Snack box. I love the Supermax snack boxes because I'm from the West, you see, so I would, I would know all that. Very good. Um, yeah, really, this part is really to make a DIY takeaway at home and, and healthily so. Absolutely. What are you putting in there? Well, what we've done here is we've just, to make the perfect chip, you blanch it for about three minutes in boiling water, okay. then it steam dry itself, and then you put, it's very important, never put anything wet into the fat fryer because that's how it blows up and you get okay. fires and all that. So when you, you, these are all, of course, Proper potatoes that Proper, you Mars up. pipe, Mars pipe are the best ones. Are they absolutely. the best they're nice tips? Yeah, they're nice and flowery. Okay. Yeah, so that's what you're so looking for. So blanche, you're just talking about boiling dropping water. them into the boiling water. Absolutely. Let them put them out on the tray, let them steam dry, and then when they're totally dry, then we blanch them once at 160 degrees, okay. and then again at 180. Now, how long would you leave them in the deep fat fryer? I tell you, the best thing to do is when they're kind of getting toasty, when they're not fully, when they're not fully crispy. But so okay. you'd, you'd want to give them at least two or three minutes. Okay, good. Now, so if you really don't have a deep fat fryer, can you use a saucepan with oil? Absolutely. Use a pot. Use a, a higher pot and only put about maybe, say, three inches of oil into it is much better because people might get a bit frightened when they're cooking with a fat fryer at home. So, yeah. And just take it out with a normal spoon if you don't have the fat yeah. fryer. Have you ever used one of those air fryers? Have you heard of those? I haven't. Have I'm you not? very old-fashioned. Yeah. One of the chefs that I cooked with, I think, last year on the, um, the other show um, was talking about that, and uh, or a couple of years ago now, as an air fryer that you put it in, it doesn't use any fat. Wow. And it manages to cook perfect chips. They did taste pretty good, I have to say. With no okay. fat? No fat. They did, actually, with no fat, believe it or not. What, what is the now, marinade? So the marinade is, this is a very traditional uh, Southern American buttermilk. So you put in uh, oh. buttermilk, about a pint of buttermilk. And then the spices you put in, smoked paprika, a little bit of uh, mixed herbs, and cayenne pepper. Now, if you're doing this for kids, because what I'm trying to do is, if you say who wants to take away, the kids have run to the car before they've even finished a sentence. I want them running to the kitchen, because this is how easy it is instead. So the chicken, you've left the skin on, Paul? Left the you? skin on, on, on the legs, on okay. the breasts, I've taken it off. But okay. this is great value now at the moment. You're getting five breasts of chicken for about six euro. Very and good. a leg of chicken is anywhere from 60 cent to 75 cent. Max. And how long would you leave it marinating? Six hours minimum, ideally overnight. But even if it's only 20 minutes, it's still better. So, okay. so again, just to remind us, we have the buttermilk. And what else do you have to flour in there? Uh, no, we're going to we're gonna dust it in flour here now in a sec. But I just want to show you a great little trick as well, more mm. On, the, on the, the fillets of chicken, you've got this little fillet here. Take them off. Okay, and when you do that five or six times, just leave them in the freezer, and all of a sudden you've got a free dinner in about two weeks' okay, time. Okay, can I just see? So these yeah. little, these are kind of leftover bits, are they? Yeah, underneath the breast of chicken, there's the fillet. All right, I see. So just oh. peel that straight off. And keep it. And keep it. Freeze it, or use it in two or three days' time. Now, I'm checking on the chips here. Oh, they're Perfect. still no, they're yeah, not ready yet. Drop them down again. So now we're going to do the exact same in the flour, but in a marinade, it's very important. Never ever put salt into a marinade because it actually takes out all the juice of the meat or the chicken or anything. So you never want to put salt into a marinade. Okay, so you've got the flour in there. What is it? Oh, sorry, this, the this flour. This is plain flour, paprika, a little bit of salt, a little bit of dried mixed herbs, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Again, this is quite hot. So if you've got kids and you're worried about that, leave out the cayenne pepper. Okay. Okay, and then a little bit of actual pepper. And how is that it. going to uh, bind the chicken now? I shall show you now. So we just give that a little mix up. Yeah. You see the chicken is actually moist from, be from being in the marinade. Oh I see, yes. Okay. So this is now post marinade after about what, a few hours Absolutely. at least if you yeah. could. Yeah. Yeah. So you just uh, yeah, you do it the old fashioned way. Do it. You just Throw put it in straight there. in. And sometimes in cooking you've got to get your hands in, so don't be afraid. Of course. So you've got your little dusting there. I'm just going to do one so we've got time-wise on it now. And is this deep fried too? Deep fried as well, yeah, nice Again, and healthy. Make sure it's not uh, wet, isn't that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. And dangerous. when you're putting something into the deep fryer, yeah. hopefully kitchen or chef cam up will get that. Just push it away from yourself so that the oil doesn't splash back on yourself. Okay. And the great thing as well, you can do all this in advance. Oh my god, those chips smell yeah, yeah, yeah. You can You can get this all done in advance. And what I do, and this is, I want to make it easy for people at home to cook. So you do this for about three, four minutes until it's nice and crispy, and then finish it in the oven. Oh, I see. Okay. Absolutely. And the great thing about this, where it is actually healthy, if you could cook that all the way in the fat fryer, it re retains an awful lot of the fat. But when you do it in the oven, I'll show you now when we take it out. Yeah. You're and see how long would a piece of chicken like that in the fat fryer, if people do have them, or in the, or in the saucepan at home if they wish, how long would it take to cook? All the way in the fat fryer? Mm. You're talking about 15, 18 minutes. Would it yeah. But in the sure. oven, when we blanch it like this, it's about 30 minutes oh. to finish it all off. Okay. Yeah. It wouldn't be as Very intense good. in the heat. Yeah. I'll check out my chips here. Absolutely. So ideally what you're doing is you're blanching them. And then, when I always say, you never ever eat anything straight out of the oven. 
because it's too hot. Very sick. Okay, so about three minutes to go, we're going to take the chicken out, that's ready, and then we're going to blanch the chips for the last time. Oh, that looks fantastic. Now, that's like real live snack box. I learned very quickly. This is my second time, and I've learned very quickly. This key to success on TV is take care of the crew. Oh, yeah, oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> That's really, really good that you yeah. realise. I don't think you're taking care of the crew with the amount of chips here, though. They're just for me, I think. Really. They're just for you. You have to chop up the rest of them. <laughs> so what we oh, have you got here millions of chips absolutely, there, too. Absolutely, absolutely. So we just leave oh, them. Oh, you've done really well. Oh, yeah. Everyone's going to be in love with you today. <laughs> yes, the crew. <laughs> they're here. Look at Judy, all you come over as well. As they I said, look amazing. kids learn to cook oh, through association <laughs> yes. and having a bit of fun. So if you're going to do a snack box, they're hungry. Sorry, give them a snack box. Today. Now today's recipes are always, as always, on our um, all the Today Show recipes, uh, the recipes are on rt.ie forward slash food. But Paul, you've got your own little YouTube thing that you put. I do indeed. Yeah, we have over a hundred videos cooking with Trevo on YouTube, and uh, basically we show all these. And what we do, it's all about having a laugh. So are you hoping to get your own show out of that? Well, fingers <laughs> crossed. Fingers I know crossed. It. You couldn't leave them on television. <laughs> And then we just throw in... And a, and a, and a homemade uh, basket as well. A homemade oh. basket. Well, here's a small one for the snack box. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I'm trying to mm, appeal to the gosh, families. You're evil. Thank you. Oh. So look what I did. Oh. I a family box. And just a little bit of like the tracing paper. And then Absolutely. Which is a bit of crack. Then. And the kids yeah. are sitting down and all oh, of a sudden... Oh, it's easy to get them involved as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's what's getting the kids involved. Vinegar? Yeah. yeah. Do you yes, like thank vinegar you or chips more? I do like a little bit, yeah. Only when it's the kind of chip proper chip from the chip shop. Mm. Okay. My sister's up and she is soaked, soaked them in vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. I like a little bit, not badly. And These the, are ready, I think. Yeah, they're done. And just to show you there, if the, Maybe I'll leave if the little cam up, we'll have come pick this up. That's what I was saying about more. See the way all the oil has drained out of it there from yeah. the end. So you're left with just pretty much the chicken and the batter. And that's the trick of putting it into the oven afterwards. Absolutely. Look at this, that's fab. Anyone hungry out there? Oh, I'd say you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a great competition, don't we, today? We mm -hmm. do. A really good, good bonus prize, as well as our usual 1,000 euro giveaway. We're going to send you on a luxury break. Yes, that's three nights in the Riverley Hotel, just down the road here in the heart of Cork City. There's loads of more. There's pampering in there. There's a 200 euro vote at the Kilkenny shop. Here's There's you. breakfast every morning. There's, There's dinner one of the nights. <laughs> All that and more, and a thousand euro. Answer this question correctly to get your hands on it. Oh. Still to come here on the Today so Show, more food. We're going to be taste testing some Baron Brack along with Tom Dooley and two very lucky, yes, extremely lucky Today Show viewers. No, not me today, but anyway, I gotta taste the food. Yvonne Hogan, as well as on our sofa, she is discussing how to be a real mother. We'll see you in a few minutes when we finish our little meal here. Oh, stay away, stay away. Do you hear me? You're not coming in, you're not coming in.